Hello, everyone. Welcome out to The Good, The Bad, and The Geeky, a podcast where I sit down with some of my friends in the local Columbus, Ohio theater and improv scene and talk a bunch of geeky stuff. Some good, some bad, and all of it definitely geeky. If you enjoy our program, be sure to subscribe to our show on Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Also, we have some uh, appearances coming up. Part of the Friday night afterwards over at MyLab on Saturday, August 17th, way, way ahead in the future. Here, uh, Simon Wheeler Tay and local improv guru Scott Wheeler, Ella Lee from Improv Comedy Sports, and Jessica Gibson from Amanda's Picture Show at GoGo, and this one occasionally. Stop by and help us talk the classic 1984 film Gremlins. Tickets are $6. Come get your tickets now. <laughs> and we'll also be having a very special guest involved in the production of the first movie, giving us a video message. So if you have any questions for anything involved in the production, email us, goodbaggeeky at gmail.com. We also want to let you know that we'll be discussing the John Wick trilogy at the West Grandview Fringe Festival. Ooh. That might be, if you guys might want to be interested in that. Uh, but <laughs> Eric Sternberger for sure will be there with me. Mm-hmm. And if you guys weren't there last year, let me break it down for you. There's a game on here we play called the GBG Drinking Game. Oh, we saw it. Oh, oh we saw the end of it oh, last year. Yeah, it was very bad. The most important part, the end. The most important part, yeah, when we were doing Muppet stuff or whatever. <laughs> but by that point, I was already shit-faced. So literally, if I say something wrong, which is a lot, mm-hmm. or if I don't guess something pr- correctly, Eric or whoever will be there was like, take a drink, and I have to take a drink. <laughs> mm-hmm. And if you want to do it at home, too, that's fine, but you should probably be at home <laughs> uh, with people you love because it's very – we don't have a date for that one yet, but be ready. We also have, I know, again, it's a little, little early, late, but tomorrow we're doing Guardians. Sam, uh, mm-hmm. Ashley, and I are doing Guardians. We, you actually have three of the Guardians right here on the show today. Mm-hmm. It's pretty yes. <laughs> freaking sweet, you guys. We have Star-Lord, Gamora, and Rocket Raccoon. What's it? Wow, what's a raccoon? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> uh... Anyway, we're also members of It's All Presents Network. Well, speaking of the network, from the minds of Nikki tells you how to live your life, Nikki Smith, and it's all been in Ray Hours Jerome. Wetzel comes a newly weekly photo comic called Life's Gummy. Every Saturday, <laughs> read a strip, a new strip as well. <laughs> I hate me presents.com. Follow the tribe of gummy bears on their adventures as they navigate the jungle of a living room, seek out wise elders at the top of the couch, and forage for food <laughs> on a messy desk. That's right. All of our programming can be found at ABD presents.com. What? Uh, exactly. It brings right. new meaning to I, I feel it in my jellies. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, we didn't talk about that. Oh, oh, we didn't oh, talk about oh, that. All right. We'll, we'll put a pin on that. I swear to God. <laughs> Our official sponsor of the show is Audible with over 2,000 titles to choose from. 30 day f- membership free, one audiobook, and two Audible originals each month, including with your trial. Ad free, premium audio. You listen to offline like a podcast, no interruptions. It's pretty great. Also, say you have to cancel, you own your amazing library. It's pretty great. You also get easy changes so you know what say you bought like say you bought a pokemon manga and you don't love it you can switch it out for something else why would it be manga though in an audiobook form yeah it's, it's, it's called manga failing. it's just it's called manga. <laughs> <laughs> I am fa- See, we, I would be so drunk right now. It's not even funny. We're not even, we're not even doing the game. If you're playing it at home, have fun. But there's some other great books out there for $14.95 per month after the trial. Cancel anytime. There's like books like Stephen King's It, Becoming by Michelle Obama, When the Crawl Dad Sings by Delia Owens, and much more. If you're interested, just uh, have an Amazon account. If not, it's also easy to go to audibletrial.com forward slash goodbaggeeky. Choose your first book free. All right. Now, today on the show, I'm really excited because with me, we have... Karen. Sam. Ashley. And we're going... Oh, and... Pika, 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 Pika. Thank you, Pikachu. And we're (laughs) going to talk about the Ryan Reynolds film, Pokemon, Detective... Pika, 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 Pika. (laughs) (laughs) it's just so goddamn cute i know um so we're going to talk about spoilers obviously if you didn't know that if you have any thoughts about what we say like you did disagreed with all of us and like you love or or whatever please email us at goodbaggy.gmail.com we might talk about when you guys come back on next time or if not i'll get it to you guys you guys give me your thoughts and we'll we'll still talk about it and it's awesome now to throw out there because we i I don't think we're going to remember to talk about this when we record the show here in a second (laughs) there is a thing about that tim says oh no tim doesn't say it ryan reynolds as pikachu says it which Mm is it says i I feel it in my jellies (laughs) right both say it well he well, doesn't Tim doesn't want, say until the very end. He doesn't yeah. say until the end because mm-hmm. that's the moment where you know they've bonded. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that is yeah. It's like I feel it in my gut. Is that we said no, my jellies, and it's like 
<laughs> jellies could mean some balls. Okay? <laughs> Let's say that's what jellies could mean. Because if you look at little jellies and they look little jelly beans, <laughs> balls. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> Lifted the tail of a Pikachu? I mean, you don't know. So, oh yeah, my God. are there balls? That's an interesting question. You know what? We may get to this later. Does, the Pikachu does make a point to say that he doesn't like wear pants and stuff. Okay, mm-hmm. so that was a really dirty joke. <laughs> I feel like that was a Ryan Reynolds like add on, and they just kept it in because he said that he apparently he recorded the whole movie like Deadpool, like dirty, mm-hmm. and they, okay. they could probably do a cut. Because I said to Sam like afterwards, I'm just like one of the things that like just kind of like slightly bothered me about this is I'm like it didn't really feel like Pikachu; it just felt like Deadpool for kids. <laughs> and Sam I'm then okay with yeah. That. <laughs> See, and I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm not okay with it. Sure, I'm just sure. like I'm like it felt like they. It was just they took Deadpool and just put made Pikachu say all the so, times. So this could be a problem, <laughs> and I don't know if we'll talk about this here in a bit too. So we'll talk about it now. Ryan Reynolds is he too good at Deadpool that it, it's kind of like, unless it's like a complete 180, like it, it's it's hard. Because I mean, yeah, this is a 180, but. Mm-hmm. He's being jokey Ryan Reynolds. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what you were saying. I'm saying he's being himself. I think Deadpool and Ryan Reynolds are the same person. And I'm, yeah, which yeah. is fine. Yeah. Which is yeah. like Robert Downey Jr. and so Iron Man. They're, they're, th- yeah, they're the same. They're the same so that's Pikachu and is also now Ryan Reynolds. And you know, we've got this weird group of people that are all the same thing. If in Deadpool 3 he doesn't like do something with Pikachu, <laughs> I will be very sad. I agree. Or, or like something that looks like Pikachu, <laughs> just referencing it. Because yeah, he makes fun back. of himself yeah. all the he time. Does, yeah. yeah. And, but here's the thing. I also don't think he will be not proud of this movie because I, I think it's something that his kids can watch too. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I think he said on one of the press stories, he's like, this is the first thing I've ever made that my kids can watch. That's not two guys and a girl in a pizza place. Yeah. <laughs> and even then, they really shouldn't be watching it. <laughs> uh, and, and I'm just like, well, that's – first off, props for bringing that jewel back yeah. um, because – I love that. Matter of fact, I was like, that Ryan Reynolds guy should be in movies. And everyone was like, he's horrible? What are you talking about? And everyone was like, Ryan Reynolds is great. And I was like, <laughs> oh, remember this. The North always remembers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he also says the jelly line all that. But that scene where he talks about how he's not wearing pants, he also says he might have peed himself a yeah. bit or yeah. something. Yeah. And he's like, but it's okay. I'm not wearing any pants. You're like, mm. What? <laughs> what? Like, and I don't think he's fucking around. Because like, it doesn't even say he's like, I'm not kidding or something like I that. I mean, are like Pokemon, like toilet train or litter train or like, what's so, their deal? Yeah, another like... problem that this movie fails to address <laughs> the Pokemon shit problem. <laughs> okay. Well, folks, as you know, we're going to get into some real deep shit here, no pun intended. But before we do that, let's go around. Does anyone have anything they'd like to plug before we start the show? <laughs> No, I haven't already. Well, I would love to plug. Well, thank you, Sam. You know, Knights of Roulette, right? Yeah. You know, so, you know, Roulette at Theater Madeleine, if you've heard about it before. Yes. Um, there are different nights, and I think, are you, are you involved in... I'm in Cyberspace Night. I'm yes. in a short called Words. Awesome. And you had directed... Uh, Thursday night, uh, Thursday afternoon in a time travel way. Jesus, that's yeah. a long title. It's good. It's yeah. good. And that, what, what night is that? Is that Borg Night? That's Borg Night, yes. Right? And are doing a much better job at this than I. <laughs> I want to point that out. <laughs> and I'm in Apocalypse Night, so, you know, you could, if you came to every single night, you could see or something that one of us have touched. Oh. You know, just saying. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. Jellies. <laughs> and then we got the Guardians thing coming we out. We have mm-hmm. Guardians, yep. and then it's all been done yep. next month, because I'm there next month. That's right. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's catch them all on Pokemon Detective. Pika, 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 Pika. Oh, right. So, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Yeah, this was a movie (laughs) that starred Ryan Reynolds Mm -hmm. and that kid from Jurassic Park Lost World Fallen Kingdom. I didn't see that. (laughs) It's okay. He was one of the bright spots of the movie, but that's in the first ten minutes. So, when I saw the trailer for Pokemon Detective Pikachu, I was really excited. And then I saw the movie. (laughs) <laughs> so, so I'm gonna start. So obviously that's where I stand on it. But we'll go from left to right. Mm-hmm. Just real quick thoughts. Yay, nay, whatever. What did you think of the movie? 
Karen? I liked it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, Sam. I think it's great for uh, Pokemon fans and younger children, but uh, movie fans and cinema fans might not be as appreciative. Okay. <laughs> I, I really liked it, too. I'm going to be the odd man on this one. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, no, no. So, look, I know going into this, this is going to be a kid's movie. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. okay, the first Pokemon, the movie... Where Mewtwo shows up. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie, but the whole thing is like designed to make you cry, which it does make me cry if I watch <laughs> it. But it's ridiculous. It's like, the tears of a Pokemon will bring back a human... What the fuck? No, no, no. What? That does, that's not how things work. It's like Rapunzel. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes, but at least that makes context for... Well, no, I, I, that's a weird twist. I didn't get that either. Um, Mew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mewtwo. Like... And also, it was very clearly defined what his powers are in that movie, mm-hmm. and in the card game, and in the video game. This one, he has all... It's, really, it's just like, he's now going to be able to heal Pokemon and human beings. He can do that. He also can make physical bodies just disappear and Indeed. join Pokemon bodies. No, <laughs> It's really called whatever... We, he's the MacGuffin, whereas mm-hmm. whatever we need him to be, he will be. And like for Pokemon, it's just like, oh, come on, guys. You can... I feel like the Pokemon company does a... Like, they have a weird continuity, but they stick to it. And I was just like, from what I know of it, and I was just like, come on, guys. You, you just, did you let Ryan Reynolds ruin everything somehow? <laughs> I, which, I, which actually he did a great job as. Mm-hmm. But wait, who saw the twist coming? Not until not, right not before it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Really? No. I, I felt that, because, okay, that's not true. <laughs> when I, beginning of the movie, I was just like, and when I saw the trailer, I was like, I bet he's Detective Pikachu. And then Ryan Reynolds is. And then halfway through the movie, I was like, I don't think he is. <laughs> and then I was like, this is going towards he's, especially when they did the shot in the lab where they show the thing where he just goes like like this, mm-hmm. and you see his back. You guys can see me at home. He like just does like a heads up but in the in the recreation of the hologram. Mm-hmm. And you don't see his face, but it's like very clearly like a weird staging. And I was just <laughs> like, that's Ryan Reynolds. It has to be Ryan yeah, Reynolds. Yeah, you never <laughs> saw the dad, and like you saw the pictures of the mom around mm-hmm. the apartment mm-hmm. and stuff, mm-hmm. but like you never see the dad's face. That was the other thing. Mm-hmm. I was like, this dude would have a picture of somebody that's that's also him, like because that's how these things work. You don't randomly yeah. go like, can I just take a picture? You're my mm-hmm. girlfriend, but click, and then just put it all over the place. <laughs> you don't have a picture of us together, mm-hmm. the kid. All three of us. There's none of that. You're right, 100%. And that mm-hmm. was, so that's why in the beginning I was like, it's totally Ryan Reynolds. Well, and it didn't make sense in the beginning why when the kid, was his name, Tim? Yeah. yeah. When he sniffs the purple R serum and then, like, it makes the eye palms go crazy. But, like, he sniffed it and you're like, oh, so that's why he can understand Pikachu. Then wait a minute, he should be able to talk to all Pokemon. That's what I, at thought that I was thinking about that too, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, so I will give them credit. They did try to give you plenty of interesting red herrings. Like mm-hmm. a normal detective story, which I will. There's a lot of things they did right in that movie, and that was one of them. Also, who thought the R was Team Rocket? Uh, initially, I did. Yes, oh. yes. Oh. for a second, yeah. I was just like, because oh, yeah. I don't know Pokemon, and I'm just like, what is the two kids or whatever the hell they are? I'm just like, don't they have R's <laughs> That's a on their shirt? Great question. Yeah. I don't think the Pokemon company know either. <laughs> like, was it Jesse and James? I think it yeah. was. was it yeah, Jesse and, and, Jesse and, and, and James. Uh, yes. yes and now. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, which, by the way, I did not see Meowth anywhere. I saw, mm-hmm. like, a lot of the other ones. I don't know if maybe oh, yeah. they're saving it for Team Rocket or something, but... I mean, there was a lot of Pokemon they did kind of kept out. I mean, they kind of... If you notice, there's just the same Pokemon over and over again. You know, a lot of um, Growlithes, which are actually rare mm-hmm. in the Pokemon series to begin with, and a lot of Pokemon like that, but they, they missed a lot of Pokemon. Which ones are so. Growlithes again? Growlithes are, like, the little fire puppies. They saw oh, around. yeah, yeah. No, yeah, because they're walking to the police station, and, mm-hmm. and yeah. yes. There was a lot of those, but, mm-hmm. I mean... There was no, like, Star use or Star... Like, if we're, no. like, throwing back to the cartoon, yeah. there was yeah. no, like, Star you, Star me, mm-hmm. no um, Onyx, like, the... One poster in his room said something about Articuno against Steelix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like, there was no... B- uh, no bug Pokemon either. I mean, there was, like, almost no bug Pokemon right. in that entire series. I mean, it's a city, so I can kind of understand that. But, I mean, there is a forest, so... But also, they started off in... They didn't start off in the city. Mm-hmm. They started off in that weird, like... I don't even know what it was. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a country town, but it's not a village. Not yeah. a giant field where there was just one Cubone, Cubone and that yep. was it. <laughs> With uh, Deadpool's cab driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i you know so i will give them credit though they did a lot of great things and that was one of them like they had plenty mm-hmm. of red herrings and here's the thing i'm fine that it ended up being ryan reynolds that's not mm-hmm. a that's actually not a complaint i have yeah. it's just the logic of how they 
got to that point mm-hmm. was like even like if they did a mind swap it would make way more sense like I could figure Mewtwo could do that because he's a psychic mm-hmm. type right mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's a very common trope with psychic characters I can like switch your guys' minds mm-hmm. and then then you can do the Futurama thing where you can't yeah. switch him back <laughs> so you have to mathematically have so many people to switch him back to the right mm-hmm. bodies because mm-hmm. you can only do it once anyway so that's a but that's a weird thing like no no it's just Ryan Reynolds body just dissolves into Pikachu and and that's and that's okay. It's just weird. And <laughs> he not wasn't weird. even in like the cryogenic weird tank that initially held mm-hmm. Mewtwo. You know, you thought he yeah. would like put the body in there or something mm-hmm. like right. that. Well, so that's the other thing too. When they start showing the flashback where Pikachu, like I, I forget, is he getting his memory back or it's a little bit of like someone's telling the memory and Pikachu's remembering. Like you see him like letting breaking Mewtwo out, and you're like, oh, he's the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Kind of like again. Good twist, yeah. the detective, because usually the detective's like, did I do it? I don't know. <laughs> he starts questioning everything, and that's what happened. It was really great. Also, which leads to my favorite part of the whole movie, Pokemon, <laughs> the theme song, being sungly. Sung- <laughs> yeah, I, I loved that. By, by Ryan <laughs> Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Which, which that I never thought I needed that in my life, but I, I did. And I was like, so again, a lot of great things come from this movie. And the, actually, I'll say this too. So... Who here has seen the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> FYI, when I saw this and I, we saw Avengers Endgame again the other night, mm-hmm. the Sonic trailer came up. It got cheers, not boos. Wow. Right, because... No, 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 no. this generation of kids didn't play Sega? I don't no, know. No, there were people our age, people, that were cheering and going, yeah. Now, and granted, it wasn't just the Jim Carrey part. It was like when Sonic showed up and they did, they did the whole meow, <laughs> shoots him, whatever. And like they were laughing, they were cheering. We started running really fast and did like the Sonic Sonic dash. And mm-hmm. I was just like, I, I mean, I like Sonic. I would like him to not look like that. Exactly. Apparently okay, well, they're going to fix it. The, right. Mm-hmm. Now, which leads me to Pokemon yeah. in that... Mm-hmm. When you looked at the characters in Pokemon, they looked so you guys can't see it, it's adorable. Karen is holding <laughs> a little plush Pikachu. But they look exactly like that in the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's not little. He's approximately well, the size he would be if he were real in real life, don't you think? Well, I feel like mm-hmm. Pikachu is little in general. Compared mm-hmm. to what was it, a Raikou? Riku? Raichu. 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 I'm about, looking at you. Are you talking about uh, uh, Pikachu's evolved like version? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Raichu is a lot bigger. Yeah, he's like Mm-hmm. He's a big dude. <laughs> um, so that's why. So to me, Pikachu is just no matter. Like Bulbasaur is actually small too, I mm-hmm. f- feel like. Mm-hmm. Um, and, Squ- and Squirtle, so Squirtle. Cute. Oh, I love him. He, <laughs> he's my boy. <laughs> Bulby's my boy. If I ever I play. Bulbasaur. When I played Pokemon Go for like two weeks, mm-hmm. Bulbasaur, he, yeah, he is my... He was my starter, too. Yeah. yeah. And even when I play the different games, I always go after Bulbasaur. But can we talk about how in the movie, the Bulbasaurs were like, eh, eh, and in the cartoon, they're like, Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> love that. So, yeah, I kind of, yeah, that kind of irked me. I was waiting for that, because that's like one of my favorites, Bulba, Bulba, Bulbasaur, <laughs> or whatever. Like, Bulba, 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 mm-hmm. Bulbasaur. And you're like, okay, that's an interesting, it's I Am Groot. Yeah. Yeah, all the Pokemon. Not happening there. But yeah, Pikachu is Pika Pika. Pika mm-hmm. Pika Pika Pika. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm. I can do most gives, of them from the cartoon. Gives me, gives, me, gives me chills when you do Pikachu. It's so cute. It's so cute and it's adorable. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, like I just thought like they look exactly like their counterparts in the anime. Mm-hmm. and with, mm-hmm. it, it was consistent and mm-hmm. it was nice because it didn't break the reality. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they should do that in the Sonic thing. Like, the, but Pokemon's a good example of that. It does work. Like, yeah, it wor- looks really good. I, that never once was like, oh, that looks weird. Mm-hmm. It looked completely believable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and it was awesome. Ken Watanabe was also in this movie, mm-hmm. and he had a very thankless role because he he was trying to be funny and he, he wasn't. <laughs> the, the dog upstaged him. Mm. Growler. No, Granbull. This was um, Snubble. 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 Snub- That's right. Mm-hmm. I know Grand he's a Pokemon, a Pokemon yeah. obviously. Oh, oh, yeah. Before that's the thing. I, this is I why Sam's at, here. No, exactly. <laughs> no, I look at someone and go, "That's a Pokemon." Yeah, I don't know its name, mm-hmm. yeah. and they might even say it, and then that's. Uh, but yeah, so so what is it against? Snubble, Snubble, yeah, Snubble. I would see. I would call it Growler because he growls all the time. <laughs> but but no, but that was yeah. Poor yeah. I, he had some really bad dialogue, and mm-hmm. you're just like, oh man, come on, buddy. I mean, Godzilla at least gave him, let them fight. <laughs> he didn't really get any of that. Oh, that Actually, he was the first character you saw that you knew of that got turned into a Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He joined with his Pokemon at the end. <laughs> so another good thing I, I liked about the movie was the scene where the, the gigantic 
I don't even know what they are. They look like the turtles with like the earth on their back. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, then uh, I might fail the name, but Torterra might Tortera? be correct. Something like that. That might be an um, a version go. of it. Well, it's like Turtwig, but evolved one step, right? Um, steps. maybe to it's something to like tor- Torterra. Um, I don't, I don't know the exact if name. That was because I thought like is Side Duck having a breakdown, mm-hmm. and they're like because in the cartoon show I remember Side Duck actually used his powers. And when he did, like mm-hmm. it always does, it malfunctions. Mm-hmm. And they were all in some kind of weird, I think, world, or they were they were seeing things that weren't mm-hmm. there. So I was like, "Is this all because of Side Duck? Because mm-hmm. he kind of lost his shit?" Mm-hmm. Which was and also they a, said that too. There was like, "Oh right. no, they're like it's just a hallucination," and then it wasn't right. And, right that's what I thought. <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh my god!" And then yeah, that was a great twist. I was like, "Oh my god, it's those turtle things. Mm-hmm. This is downright creepy." <laughs> yeah. How are they going to get out of that? And it was really also, but. When did Pikachu get hit? Like, he looks like he got hit by a little rock. Yeah. And it just fucked him up. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 literally, it's the size of an iPhone 6S. And yeah. it looked like it, obviously, but a rock. And it hit him. And then and then he just looked horribly roughed up. And I was just like, what the hell? It was like all of a sudden dying. And it was very sad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was sad because I like Pikachu. Mm-hmm. And then I realized, oh, you haven't earned why I should be sad. And then I wasn't sad at all. <laughs> that's, a, that's a problem I have with some. Things. I was sad that like Chansey didn't show up because mm-hmm. in the cartoon, whenever Pikachu was in rough shape, like he'd go to the Pokemon hospital and like mm-hmm. the Chanseys were like the nurses. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, they're like the weird half egg thing. They're yeah, the, the pink things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, they're not egg. They look like an egg. I'm thinking of oh, the that's thing that Togepi. Misty had. You think about Togepi? Yeah. Yeah. No, but they Wasn't look like that without the the Bart Simpson. <laughs> they're hair. pink. There they was look a like sign. Like fairy, but not. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I swore someone was there. holding one. There, well, there might have been, but there was actually a sign this that was a, a callback yeah. to Togepi. Yeah, they have an egg in mm-hmm. them, um, or it looks like. Um, for a restaurant. Belly. But, I mean, the thing is, is, this is based on the video game Detective Pikachu, right? And that is, it is based on Rhyme City. And so it is very different from the normal world. They do reference, like, Kanto and other places in there, but it yeah. is a different world. So they might not have, I mean, I've never played Detective Pikachu, unfortunately, but uh, they don't have, they might not have the Why same buildings here? and such. No, <laughs> No, 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 I only knew it was a video game, but I didn't know anything else about it. I knew it was a popular game, and I don't even know if it came out here in the States. I heard of it, it was big over was there. Literally, mm-hmm. we were reading up on this on the drive here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just to find out a little bit more information, but... Yeah. I mean, yeah, and- they could have done so much more, like, reading the plot of the game. I'm just like, why the hell wasn't this in the movie? That's interesting. Like, they mm-hmm. could have made, like, two or three movies out of this. Oh, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. so I guess that's another general complaint mm-hmm. I have. It's the biggest crime that the movie did. Because it's really not a bad movie, but, mm-hmm. like, Game of Thrones, it drops you in. But it has, like, one or two characters you learn everything through. You don't learn anything in this movie, really. Mm-hmm. At the opening, I was like, okay, this is how, with the Cubone, this is how they're going to show you how to catch a Pokemon, what a Pokemon is. Nope. It's just throw the ball and hope you catch it. They don't <laughs> go into anything else. And after that, it's just, uh, they, it's more exposition of where you're going. Like, the city has Pokemon and blah, mm-hmm. that. That's all you learn. Although, can we talk about how he was, his friend was, uh, Tim's friend or whatever, was trying to get him to catch a Pokemon so he would have one, <laughs> and then when his dad turned out to be Pikachu, mm. and then his dad <laughs> took corporeal form again at the end and still had his Pikachu, does that mean Tim, after all of that, still does not have his own Pokemon? Absolutely correct, mm-hmm. which has really bothered me, because <laughs> I felt like that should be like a huge thing and I waited for like after the credits or did whatever. You, I like, did not. No. I, it does he get a? Po- I just wanted him to get a Pokemon, and well, I was upset. So, so I guess that's the thing is like, yes, as a, as a movie, Sam is a hundred percent. At least, from my opinion, is a hundred percent correct in that it functions as a great Pokemon movie. If you know yes. anything about Pokemon, mm-hmm. it's enjoyable. But like, my my wife got over. She doesn't know anything about Pokemon. Like, she needs something that goes, almost like the first Star Wars, like, mm-hmm. this is the Empire. The Empire will do this. Mm-hmm. And then you see what they do. This is Han Solo. These are smugglers. Smugglers are big because they work around the skirts of the Empire. Like, you get everything you need from there and then expand on it. They don't do that. Like, Hellboy is a good example. Mm-hmm. The first one by Del Toro. They put Myers in, the Agent Myers in. He gets to learn, like, this is the BPD. That's Hellboy. Do not look him in the eye because he'll think you're looking up here and he'll get pissed. And then you don't want that because you're his liaison. Mm-hmm. And also, don't fuck with this. Don't do that. And you're like, But you're learning everything as you go. You don't do that in this movie. 
They just throw you out there and it's like, hope you know what a Pikachu is. <laughs> hope you know what that big fucking weird stereo Pokemon is. And, uh, <laughs> loud Red. Was it, loud, is that what that was? Yeah. Loud Red. Again, so that's the thing. Again, it looks so cool and I was mm-hmm. totally invested yeah. in it because I, mm-hmm. I knew Charizard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I knew that all the – yeah, it was such a weird thing. And again, they had some great red herrings in there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that really did bother me. Uh, he doesn't get, that he doesn't get a po- like. I feel like that's a storytelling problem. That's <laughs> like you already had a Pokemon the whole time. It was your father. You? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like that's a Ryan Reynolds joke. He's like dead. He's like your Pokemon was in your heart the whole time. It was your dad who you hated. Though, can we talk about how when Ryan Reynolds hugs Tim at the end and is all like, son, like, Matt Schlichting, who I saw this movie with, was like losing his shit, like crying more than he cried at the end of My Neighbor Totoro. Like, like sincerely, like crying, sad crying, or like crying in another way? Just like tears and like... Like legitimately sad and touched, like, touched. T- I think they were touched tears. I don't think he was like sad. Well, Matt is a very he- funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> he finds humor like I, I. I mean, I have a fucked up sense of humor, and Matt kind of sometimes times do. That's why I love talking to Matt. Uh, so, so that's the thing. Look, I don't mind crying. I don't care. Man, mm-hmm. card on the table. Don't give a shit. I like to cry. Like fucking Endgame destroys me mm-hmm. multiple times, and now it's like different places <laughs> when I watch it again. Like. Have you seen Endgame? Not yet. <gasps> I know. Okay. I'm not current there's on all one, my zillion Avengers movies. There's one movies. thing that happens that I think everyone will cry at when you watch it. Mm-hmm. and there's But there's other little moments. It's like this one character is sad. And you're just like, oh, I'm sad for him now. And the first two times I saw it, straight <laughs> face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm feeling it, but not. Yeah, it's such a weird thing. It's, but, but I don't I don't mind crying. I, did, mm-hmm. I, wanted, I feel like Pokemon the movie gets me still. Even though mm-hmm. I know it's coming and I hate it that it's coming. <laughs> Still gets me every time. I was, I was like, this movie's going to make me cry. And I'm okay with that. Cause, and also, it has Ryan Reynolds. How can mm-hmm. it go wrong? And then it didn't. And I was just like, okay. So that's awesome. I, I wanted to be there for that. And I wasn't. I didn't get that. There is also this adorable like dad and his son. Like The kid can have been more than like two years old. But you could just tell like the dad sitting next to us. Like The kid was reaching for my Pikachu. This Pikachu also went to see the movie. <laughs> so the kid's like reaching out and like petting my Pikachu the whole time and like trying to share his gummy bears with me and like being adorable and you can tell the dad like played red and blue or whatever and like it oh, toward yeah. the end of the movie when like the chick takes off her sunglasses and has the dark beady eyes and you know it's a ditto like mm-hmm. the dad started cracking up before anyone else because he like <laughs> knew it was coming yeah so so yeah there were moments like that that were just really well played like with the ditto mm-hmm. I also liked the well he probably really then loved the end credits because they started doing like the 8-bit versions of the oh, characters yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. like a half second before mm-hmm. they yep. then cut to the anime which mm-hmm. or the uh, manga I should say or the no because they have a manga over there too of Pokemon don't they yeah they have a manga of Pokemon I, I felt like they did like half animation half or the anime half manga mm-hmm. like they went through all the different Pokemon and then it was like a collage at the end I, which mm-hmm. was really awesome but uh, yeah oh by the way you mentioned something and I want, we'll talk about this your Pikachu my Pikachu your Pika 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 <laughs> <laughs> so adorable. Where? Okay, you said you this. This is an important Pikachu. This is a well-traveled Pikachu. So uh, about a year and a half ago, I was in Japan, mm-hmm. and like the Japanese like Pokemon, but it is pretty much exclusively for kids. So I'm in Osaka, which is like the second biggest city other than Tokyo, and like I get off the train and I see on the map like where the pokemon center is but there's like escalators and signs and i don't know what level it's on of course you can't read anything so i'm asking for directions and i'm literally walking up to people going pokemon center and they're like pokemon center for children's and i'm like no pokemon center for me so i finally (laughs) find the pokemon center and of course it's full of like americans our age (laughs) And yeah. this Pikachu, he's a Pokemon Center, like, Japan, made in Japan, like, exclusive, only Pikachu. Wow. I got my friend a Suicune. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, like, lost my mind in the Pokemon Center, so <laughs> I, he flew back on my lap with me from Japan, and then last year when I was on my road trip, like, he's been to, like, 12 national parks now, and stuff. was he your stuff. carry-on, or was he, like, did you... No, it's a legit question because they charge you extra for they extra do. Bags they do. stuff. That's why I was asking. They do, but everybody was like pointing at me like Pikachu actually had two carry-ons and then I zipped him up in my hoodie and I just carried him like a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't charge me for him. 
That's awesome. <laughs> no, so, so, that's smart. It, it, actually, yeah. So that's awesome. Man, that has been... So what, what countries have you visited with, with, with Pikachu? With Pikachu? Just, just Japan. And when I went to Argentina, I didn't want him to get stolen. But he's been like on a 9,500-mile road trip. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. He's been to Canada. He's been to Vancouver. And actually, when I was in Vancouver, my car got broken into, and we got some stuff stolen. So when I got that phone call, and you know that my car had broken, been broken into, I was like, "Please God, if you can have anything, my money, my passport, all my clothes. I don't just. care, just not my Pikachu." <laughs> but luckily, they did not take my Pikachu. Yay! So. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a picture of that before you leave today, <laughs> okay. so we can include it somewhere when we when we <laughs> post this episode because it <laughs> it's is so it's, cute. It is so cute. Like, here's the thing: I don't, I don't dislike, but I don't love them though like it's enjoyable mm-hmm. but like i kind of want one <laughs> it's like it's like a winnie the pooh stuff it's like i well i actually now see i'm the opposite i love winnie the pooh but i would like a tigger or a rabbit or whatever you know it's just that same level of just adorableness mm-hmm. just anyway i'm a grown man it's okay <laughs> okay so yeah uh what else did did we in so like what's one of the things that like not as a pokemon fan that you guys enjoyed about the movie because I, I don't want to just keep, like, just pouring on it, like, because I don't think so, that's fair to the movie. not as a Pokemon fan about yeah. the movie? Mm-hmm. Like, so, like, as a movie itself, like, if you cr- cr- critically looked at the movie, like, what did you enjoy from it? Like That's like asking me to separate the art from the artist. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It, it is it hard. Mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I like it. Ryan Reynolds. And Ryan, I, Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. That's right. enough for me to like it. That is true. Mm-hmm. That's, so that's the redeeming <laughs> factor. Like, if you don't like Pokemon at all... Ryan Reynolds is in it, and he has some good zingers, mm-hmm. and he's just, he's Ryan Reynolds, and yeah. You know, I, I like this, two things, I like the um, effects of some of the Pokemon, how they actually created them, like, even if you don't like Pokemon, they were still really adorable yes, and cute were. and amazing, mm-hmm. and you're like, okay, I love that, that's fantastic. Right, exactly. Is that, yeah, like, I remember, what was the, the was it the big Snorri one? He's in the middle Snorlax. of the Snorlax. Snorlax. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the middle, oh, uh, isn't he a rare Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. <dude>? Yeah. <laughs> But he's there in the middle of the street. I think that was the reason why there was the traffic jam and the one multi arm <laughs> guy. That was what was I like, took from it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he was like directing traffic around. I was like, well, the that's co- yeah. yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Also, uh, you asked me this the other day, and it's like, is Magic Carp in there? And I said, mm-hmm. yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? And then I was trying not to go into what happened because I didn't want to spoil it. And mm-hmm. but it it uh, evolves. Yes, mm-hmm. which it is, is awesome. Really cool. Yeah. And to, yeah, and Charizard got his mm-hmm. butt kicked, but he always does against that thing, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Usually. Well, yeah, because Charizard's a fire type and Gyarados is a water type. Well, yeah, but I, oh, no, and yeah. water and mm-hmm. dra- they're like both dragon, but like. Is he a drag? Well, no, he yeah, because he just yeah, hurls Charizard, water. Yeah, he's like a Gyarados is like wow, water dragon, <laughs> and Charizard is like fire dragon. And Dragonite is just, like, Dragon Dragon with some dark attacks, I think? Yeah, though I don't believe uh, Charizard was initially a... I don't know if he... I haven't played the newer ones, but I don't think he wasn't actually a dragon type. No? I think uh, just Gyarados uh, was... Gyarados and Dragonite, of course. Uh, and, of course, Dragonite's known to have many different abilities. But back to those, yeah. No, that's how it was. No, so. that... This is why you are our Pokemon. <laughs> Apparently. Well, now we're in the wild, and you're telling us all the Pokemon that are out there. Well, Crikey, look at this one here. <laughs> well, I only play Pokemon Go, and my mm-hmm. Charizard has Dragon Claw, which mm-hmm. is dragon damage mm-hmm. yeah. as his charged attack, mm-hmm. and Fire Spin is his quick attack. Wow. Yeah, so, so that's the thing. So when Pokemon Go came out, I played it longer than two weeks. I, I played it for like a few months. And then I realized I wasn't, I got up to like level 18 and I just stopped. So like, matter of fact, I think when you and Matt were just like, we need friends on Pokemon Go, who plays? And I was like, I'll friend you. I'm not, I don't play though. I just got on, that's literally the first time I got on in like a year and a half. (laughs) So I could just like, here you go. And then, yay, I got a gift basket. And I think by doing that, you guys get a gift basket from me or something. No, you have to set this one. I have to set, oh no. (laughs) I have to spit a Pokestop and get a gift and send it back. shit, I'm so sorry. I'm a horrible person. (laughs) Okay, so here, okay, so this is an old man complaint, right? As he yells at the cloud, like, (laughs) when the game first came out, and I still don't, I haven't looked, though, to be fair, again recently, but, like, they didn't tell you, like, when you fought Pokemon in the gym, 
They didn't tell you how to do anything. They you didn't. Just, you just go in and it and it just starts. Well, and that, then I would get crushed. I'm like, how do I learn mm-hmm. from this? Well, that is different because the games are all turn based and like Pokemon Go is finger smashing pretty mm-hmm. much. And that is one of the complaints. Well, and that's fine, but like I need to know that. Yeah. And know like you know what I mean? Like I need to know like as I get so even though I very clearly a second ago forgot that water and fire Pokemon don't mix well <laughs> for the fire one. <laughs> But I know that it's the same thing like the – forget how it is because I played the card game and so that's how you, you find your enemy's weaknesses. So like I think water and grass was – water was also bad against um, – was it the rock ones? Uh, it so water was a f- super effective against rock. Um, right. And grass was all—I mean, everything was almost super effective against rock. Rock's terrible, but um, <laughs> um, well, we know how Sam would play. <laughs> uh, yes, you know, if Dwayne the Rock Johnson came into this movie, I'm sorry, he would lose. Ooh. But oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, grass was super effective against um, water as well. So yeah, so it was—it's a weird, it's a nice balance like that, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. But like grass is weak against fire, mm-hmm. so it's all like very logical. Well, right. Even though I very obviously logically forgot earlier. Um, <laughs> but back to what I was saying, you know, that's yes. what the Pokemon how cute they were. That was um, something I thought was just awesomely done. I liked how they incorporated yeah. that, and then I, I loved the the setting. To be honest, any anything that has like a little bit noir feeling to it, and yeah. I, I really liked it. It was yeah. pretty neat. I I yeah. So that that was something like again, like they really hit the detective angle hard. Mm-hmm. They. The sadly kind of fumbled at what well, they fumbled in how they presented it at the execution at the end, but it was still mm-hmm. a good detective story for the most part. Mm-hmm. And also, like, okay, th- this it doesn't matter what movie this is, but like, this is any movie, especially a kid's movie. Mm-hmm. When Bill Nighy or any <laughs> named actor shows up that is not the two leads or the one talking animal and the mm-hmm. other human lead. It's very clear he's the bad guy. <laughs> but then they did a good job of going, no, he's not the bad guy. And then I was like, but I feel like he's still going to be the bad guy. Oh, he is. Okay. <laughs> and then his, his he didn't make any sense necessarily. And I was like, it, well, so yeah, so he's not bad really because he wants to help all the people. But <laughs> but it's really he wants to be, but he gets to be mute too. No, it's just because he's like paralyzed or whatever, and he wants to put his mind in like a Pokemon body. But he but his whole thing is that he wants to do it to mm. everybody to help them so they can evolve too. And now if it was just him, I'd be fine with that. But then he that's why he does the purple gas all over the mm. streets and then mm. like Ken Wantanabe becomes uh whatever that thing is, the pink mm. dog and all that and, and you're just like, Oh, and <laughs> was it who was the girl? Was Sandy that, Lucy. Lucy. Mm-hmm. She becomes Psyduck mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. yeah, they're all becoming their own Pokemon and you're just like I was with you and mm-hmm. then you lost me. Yeah. yeah. Like Well, I mean, I, I like to think that this is a children's version of the snap. Right, where half of everyone, <laughs> you know, dusts in this white abysmalness, and then be, you know everyone's you know fine as in their Pokemon selves. So I, I, I have to truly think that Ryan Reynolds has something <laughs> to do with that because didn't he produce the movie or something? Or no, he just started. I feel, I feel like he did something else with that movie, but I'm sure he's just like <laughs> guys, guys, I got it. <laughs> Why don't we say fuck you to Marvel <laughs> yeah. and we're going to have our own snap. We'll have yeah. the Pokemon snap. <laughs> Pokemon with, snap. With, That's with, a Pokemon with, video game. With, 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 oh. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, snap no, is... yeah, yeah. For N64, right? Yes, it was yeah. a camera video game. See, nice. I remember that. Yeah. Because oh. you could do tournament battles, but you could also, it's like a safari game. <laughs> it was only a safari game. It was only a safari I thought No, it... Pokemon Stadium was the oh, tournament yeah, you battles. Just took pictures. But you just took pictures of Pokemon in really awesome scenarios. And there, Mew was in, in, actually in that game. But, uh, yeah. But it was the Pokemon Snap. That is a great term to use for what what that movie was. It, like legitimately, like you're just like okay. Uh, just Justice Smith was Tim Goodman, who was the lead. Uh, Lucy was Catherine Newton. I thought she was okay, but her dialogue was really clunky, so it made me not connect with her at all. No, but- we were talking about this on the way over, and just like how like kind of pointless her character was in a manner of speaking yeah just mm-hmm. like she, she is she actually was like a, the cliche like mm-hmm. what, what was the, the zach braff movie turned it the pic, manic pixie dream girl t- for him to mm-hmm. try to mm-hmm. wa- yearn for yeah. and and it's like really the only purpose she served was for psyduck 
Mm -hmm. And that was just that one scene. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, and she contributed, like, go talk to this person at the docks, like, when they find Mr. Mm Mime and, like, interrogate him. But that was pretty much it. And then she drives them to, like, the research center. That's pretty much it. The Mr. Mime was (laughs) so good. That was amazing. So so great. So, again, this is another example for me. Like, this is like, that's a damn good scene. It's just Mm -hmm. in context with everything else. It doesn't (laughs) hold up as well. But it's a damn good scene. And also, I think I loved it. Uh, Someone said, Maybe it was the director of Ryan Reynolds said like yeah uh, the Mister Mime scene they we asked what Mister Mime was what his powers are because mm-hmm. even the card game and the video game it's a little in, it's conspicuous mm-hmm. they don't really go right out and they didn't know oh <laughs> and so they said we don't know and so they let them do whatever with Mister Mime but what was the one with the big tongue it looks like a tree. lick a tongue lick a tongue yeah they wanted that cut from the movie they thought that went too far and then and they're just like and apparently they're like yeah we wanted to push the envelope. I'm like, what envelope? He's licking its face and it's disgusting. There's no reason. I don't need that. There's no purpose. Like I was like, because doesn't it, he licks and then you get like a little frazzled or confused or mm-hmm. something. Yep. That, that's Pokemon. the ability in the, in the, um, in the video game. Yes. He didn't get confused. I think, he just I think got it's paralysis gross. is what it's mm-hmm. supposed to be. I think. But I'm saying like that would have been cool if he actually got yeah. No, I'm saying he reached behind him and grabbed the little towel thing and wiped his face and just like who does this belong to? And that was the end of it. Right. Yeah. And I'm just, so like, see again, I know enough to be dangerous. And I'm just yeah. like, I feel like that should do something to him <laughs> because then because then really like he's a poorly designed creature from evolution because like that does nothing to anything. It may be a Pokemon, but like humans are just as dangerous as other Pokemon. They're probably mm-hmm. more so because man is the biggest enemy in the world. You know, mm-hmm. like that Twilight Zone. So, like, yeah, they're going to hunt all of them out of extinction. Well, they can't pretend themselves. They can lick them, mm-hmm. paralyze them if they're a Pokemon. <laughs> Human, poof, kill them or something. You know, <laughs> like, which is horrible. Please, well, yeah. well, that's why the Pokemon world is a, like a dystopian, you know, or utopian society that everyone has, um, you know, there's like no one spends money. A 13-year-old kid can run around wherever he wants and nothing bad really happens to him. That is true. That so is true. And that is nice because like, well, I was that – so you guys are younger than me. What, what what years, if you don't mind me asking, like what years did you grow up? Like 92, 93? So I was born, born in 94. <laughs> oh, um, he's so a baby. <laughs> I, I'm the young one. Okay. But that's one of the reasons I grew up with it, right? Well, it was right, on my, sure. you know, my was, my channel, and I watched. Power it. Rangers still big for you with Pokemon too? Yes, Power Rangers was my okay. thing. I was a Power Ranger for like four um, Halloweens in a row. So <laughs> what what color? It's important. Re- always red. Always red. No love for Tommy. Well, the, the problem is, the I white. was always like the second-hand red ranger, like not the current generation, but like two or three generations past. You were Jason because, and all my friends were always like the current red ranger, and I was always the past red ranger, so I always looked a little different, a little cheaper. <laughs> but, uh, but here's the thing: that's cool because then you didn't look uniform. You weren't mm-hmm. a follower. Oh, exactly. You were unique. So oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I personally like that. No, I I don't know why, but like first of all, no, I know why. For, I liked I like Mecha God I like Godzilla mm-hmm. so the the dragon thing look I forget the dragon sword looks like Mecha Godzilla and so I just thought I was like <laughs> that now that's the one I want to be Tommy <laughs> the Green Ranger and then, yeah. I, and then I, he started off bad mm-hmm. and I was just like well you tell me more <laughs> uh, wait are we talking about the Brian Cranston Power Rangers movie now. No, we're, well, we're talking about the original TV show. Mm-hmm. I don't no. know about the new one. I, I, I saw that. I've seen we saw uh, the, movie. the movie. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This is why I brought this up because when I grew up, you could go like Ash. You could mm-hmm. just ride around my hometown without a care in the world. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and nowadays yeah. it's like, and also everyone's door was unlocked. Mm-hmm. Now it's like all the doors are locked. You can't, you, you, that's not cool to do that. And if you do, you're like a interesting parent you know i think in the first episode of the cartoon ash's mom is like don't forget to change your underwear and then like in today's world ash's mom would be like don't forget to not die like yeah don't forget to not do heroin on the way to to kyoto okay and and don't mess with any dirty pokemon okay (laughs) you be careful up there um, cause you never know what they might, one might just jump out at you. It might be team rocket or something. <laughs> so yeah, by the way, I also thought that was weird. They didn't make any mention of team rocket in this movie. And I don't know if that was because of the game or not. Well, it's a regional thing. Um, there's Is a it? different team a, a different villain in each region you go to. Like, um, in some other games, it's team magma and team aqua, or in another region, it's like Team Galactica, and like okay, so oh, okay, mm-hmm. you're breaking my brain a little bit here. The only, <laughs> legitimately, because when I watched the mm-hmm. cartoon show, it made it to me that Team Rocket 
was the bad guy in every region. So just because people liked those villains so much, um, they, they would create reasons for them to follow them to new regions, right? For the same reason that Ash wanted to go to a new region. Oh, let's find more new Pokemon and we'll do this. But I mean, really, in reality, that Team Rocket, the Jesse and James character, yeah. are like the worst ones of that organization. And oh. the bosses just hates them. And he's like, just get away from me. So you can I, go to places. I, I, I get that. Yeah, they're kind of like the coyote and the roadrunner because they specifically want mm-hmm. Ash's Pikachu and they keep trying to capture mm-hmm. Ash's yeah. Pikachu and like well, their yeah, plan gets the coiled. comic relief of the whole show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really, after like the first few, few episodes of the first season, because they're, yeah. they're not really a threat. Yeah, absolutely. Right. You know, um, which is, is interesting in its own way, but mm-hmm. I legitimately thought like that was kind of, A, it was to get rid of them because they're annoying mm-hmm. and stupid, but also because... No, legitimately, Jesse and James have some problems. Uh, <laughs> like, are they? I feel like they're brother and sister, but they're are they Lannisters? Oh, I don't know. There's it's some really interesting hard. backstory about how James was actually a rich guy who agrees, and, and you know Je- Jesse was more of the poor one, and how they got together. There's some interesting uh, backstory to to how they are. Now, is this uh, is this fan fiction backstory or legit backstory? <laughs> legit backstory. Oh my god! Yeah. Really, okay. Well, James is actually he's a really genuinely great guy. Um, I mean, Jesse's okay too, but like James is a really nice guy and he's always trying to say, no, maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe let's just, let's just, you know, go in a field of flowers and do this kind of stuff. But, you know, is more in tech, you know, tempted, I guess, or antagonized and went by Jesse and wants to go do more stuff. You're like blowing my brain away <laughs> right now. Cause I remember like, yeah, yeah, they would, they would sometimes talk to each other, try to talk each other out of it and then they would do it anyway. But yeah. it makes more sense that, yeah, it would be. <laughs> I really had no. I, I yeah. legitimately thought because I feel like in the video game too, like Team Rocket was the final bad guy in like the different games. No, no, because they're the one that it was just the first one with you two. It, you know, like I said, after the games go on, you're fighting like a whole new team, and there's new bosses and um, new See, the, evil yeah, teams. Yeah, that, so, so so that's where my complete mm-hmm. failing of everything falls apart. Then mm-hmm. with how I understood the Pokemon, because that you're breaking my brain. Here. Yeah, like, I'm legitimately surprised, and I just don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> It's awesome, too, yeah. but it just makes me... Like, I want to play all the other games now. Yeah. Because that was one of those games I missed out on, and it's like a nice version of Final Fantasy. hmm With, you know, which, I, which I'm... It's like Magic. Pokemon the game is a nicer version of Magic. The magic and, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Yu-Gi-Oh! has some darker anime images on it, but, like, yeah. like Magic, like, you can see some TNA and death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pokemon, you don't see that. You see, like, you know... You know, someone getting licked on the face and being paralyzed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unless they're human. Or Pikachu electrocuting something. Or mm-hmm. just like, just generating electricity. That's that's all the card is. Yeah. And that's a nice card to show some. Absolutely. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's actually, the game's not that bad. It's it's actually a fun card game. But I, I only played the red. Uh, it's still very popular. Uh, the, the Pokemon card game TCG um, is... At competing against Magic the Gathering as, you know, what are the two best cards? Isn't that card so games? interesting? Because I feel like mm-hmm. I don't hear anyone talk about Pokemon, mm-hmm. the game. Yeah. I feel the video games everyone does, but I don't hear about the card game. But they still sell them all over the place. Mm-hmm. I have a friend who's, like, in Pennsylvania who's in charge of a Pokemon, Pokemon like, league. card league. It's yeah. Like serious. I had a friend who, uh, uh, remember Media Play, everybody? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Media Play, it was, like, a pop culture store, like, movies, books. Oh, yeah. Video games and all that stuff. Like, NYE or one of those. Yeah, they, had, they hosted a Pokemon league, and one of my friends worked there at the time. He became like the major domo for like the West Broad Street in Columbus area, mm-hmm. and they joined with another region and they got bigger. And he was running it for like three years, wow. and so he would also have all these amazing like cards. Mm-hmm. Like he had Mewtwo, I kn- I didn't know anyone had Mewtwo, <laughs> but it was like a card that only like Pokemon League owners could get, and they could give out to people. And then when he stopped, he had like two or three left, and he's like, "Do you want?" I was like, oh, "I stopped playing like a year ago." <laughs> but he had, I mean, he, they were all cool. They had like the foil, like glowy. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, so cool! I also thought them breaking into the lab was actually pretty solid with how they. It was a very well laid out shot, especially with mm-hmm. the, what were the frog ninja frogs? Those are oh gosh, I was saying it the entire time. What are those called? Um, I don't know. Wow! I don't know Pokemon. <laughs> you know, I was saying it the entire time when I saw them. I don't them, Pokemon I can't Go, it. and that's it. <laughs> um, I so I do the same thing. Oh, uh, something it's, it's, it's it is ninjas, and it's like something for ninja, something for ninja. Or something? No, that's not it. Okay, it's, it sounds. But here's the thing: you can tell me that, and I'll be like, <laughs> "Oh, that yeah, sounds right. Sure, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. sounds accurate." Yeah. But like, even how that like, oh, so I guess this is something else that I think about that because that was one of the big parts of the trailer was they played the I Need a Hero mm-hmm. and that was one of the high part the climax of that mm-hmm. trailer and that song was them like those ninja frogs mm-hmm. like th- th- throwing mm-hmm. a blast out 
that level of excitement in the trailer never really hit the got hit in the movie. Yeah, no, it and didn't. I think that's a bummer too because mm-hmm. and and so good job for them for selling that movie very well <laughs> to me. I guess. But yeah, it, it, it's just an okay movie. I just wanted it to be better. I wanted it to be more because mm-hmm. well, again, I was seeing it without my. wife. I wanted to take my wife to see. It. I was like, look, it's a good movie. You can get into Pokemon now too, <laughs> and then it just, I was like, "Oh, she's gonna hate this." Movie. Yeah, <laughs> she has no idea. I could definitely see its shortcomings as just a movie and a plot. Yeah, you like, know, because the plot's not very strong, and the ending is very kind of Deus Ex Machina. Machina. Ma- mm-hmm. Machina yeah, Machina. Whatever. Everything mm-hmm. was very whatever, easy, know? and like it. Yeah, it, they went through it very quickly. It was like, yeah. oh, they found that lab very quickly. They solved exactly. what, what was going on in the lab very quickly. Just like there right. was. No build up, and like that's one of the things Sam was complaining about on the way home. And I was like, well, to be fair, the last two movies we saw were Endgame, which was three hours. Yeah, this was half that time, so that and it's directed towards kids. Yeah, so I'm and like, they, they don't are, have the attention span, right? So I'm like, so. they took what could have been. It was like again, like reading through the Wikipedia article about the plot of the game. I'm like, man, they could have turned this into multiple movies. They didn't. They compressed it all into one super short movie. So it just it did feel very quick and very easy. Was it something similar happen when you read the synopsis? Like where it's like the Oh, I didn't even finish the synopsis. Oh my god. It was long. So was it like the Pikachu could talk? Is somebody Yeah, like- all the it was the same character names and everything for um the Holy dad and the shit. son and Pikachu. Oh. But then there was a whole slew of other characters that were not in the movie at all. I think the um the dad's boss was mentioned once. Then there's just like a whole bunch of other characters and a whole bunch of other like story arcs and things mm. that they're going off. And I'm just like, and I stopped like twice while reading this because I was reading it out loud on the way here. And I'm just like, man, I'm like, where was this? See, that's mm-hmm. so because look, I I understand the difference between like there's the book, there's the video game, there's mm-hmm. the movie, there's the whatever, there's the TV show. Mm-hmm. And I respect that they can all be different. But sometimes when you're just like, this would have been way better. Mm-hmm. This would have been way more interesting. And it, that's what breaks my heart. Yeah. It's like more... And because, again, like we're all talking about scenes that are really awesome. But then at the end of the day, when you put them all in the context of the movie, you're like, mm, it was okay for a mm-hmm. Pokemon movie. Like, if you love Pokemon, it's great. But, like, if you don't, it's just... It's it very much a kid's mm-hmm. movie. It's like one of the first things I said to Sam when we left. I'm just like, I need to take the kids to see this because they're going to love this. Right. And they're, like, and cool. they're not even big Pokemon fans. Like my daughter watches it with Sam once in a while. My son's just kind of like, meh. Mm. But I'm both- the one who puts it on, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I watch yeah. DuckTales where kids will, my oh. kids will watch DuckTales. Oh, my, my kids so love DuckTales. Even if they don't like it or not. Mm-hmm. Well, I told him, I was like, I told Sarah, I was like, we're going to watch Ninja Turtles, we're going to mm-hmm. watch Star Wars, and I, I don't give a shit if they don't like it or not. <laughs> uh, actually, that's not fair. I'll probably be watching Frozen a million times. <laughs> mm, my Little Pony. I'm an expert. What were the little, like, lit up flying Pokemon when the Bulbasaur? Yeah. Are the we... Mushroom. I don't know. That's a newer generation See, Pokemon that I didn't know mushroom? about. It looked, it looked like, like a mushroom Brazil? jellyfish yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Wait, so... That's what it looked like. It wasn't anything Pika- I know. No, when Bulbasaur got hurt the first time in the original series, didn't they take him to other Pokemon or other Bulbasaurs and, like, the Bulbasaurs let those things out of their back? Um, or something? Or, or... I'm not sure about that. I mean, but they do have spores and like seeds that they can let out, Bulbasaur, but I don't know if they had those mushroom jellyfish things. I, I didn't recognize them. Maybe I'm confusing with like, I felt like they were like, because I felt like they looked like little flowers, so maybe it was just seeds I'm confusing the two, because mm-hmm. they kind of look like floaty flower jellyfish. Maybe. I, I don't, I, I yeah. think that you're right and I'm not. I, I'm going <laughs> to take you on that. Uh, but I, yeah, because I was just like, is that... Are they healing them? That's what I thought was going to happen, yeah. not take it to fucking yeah. YouTube. And <laughs> and then even then, I was just like, wait, what the hell? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, the whole scene was like reminiscent of, oh gosh, Miyazaki movie, my favorite. Oh, Princess Mononoke, the yes. little four spirits. The four spirits guiding yes. them and then take putting the Pokemon or some on this, you know, Alter- playing the big. Yes. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's like getting flashbacks to that movie. Okay, so um, as someone who is not a fan of anime in general... Mm-hmm. Okay, but legitimately, so like I like Spirited Away, mm-hmm. but I remember I watched the original Miramax cut mm-hmm. before John Laster and Disney went back and redid it and put the original version out there. I I didn't care for Princess Mononoke. Mm-hmm. Um, is the new version like the more com- is that is that good or is it just because I because they did that with all of them like was it Tor- Tortello the, the my big, neighbor Totoro my, that's my the neighbor, best one that's, that's my adorable. favorite one so that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying Matt the, cried at that one too the Maya is <laughs> FYI <laughs> wait to sell him out on that one. he has no idea he's like hey babe listen to the podcast sold me out for a crier <laughs> uh, so I literally 
the theater. I'm like, you know, I have to record on a podcast to the um uh, on this tomorrow. Like, is this our little secret? Or he's like, no, you can tell everyone. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's that's awesome, uh, uh, Matt. I do it too, man. You're fine. <laughs> well, and honestly, I think it's a compliment to the movie if if you can, because that meant it, it mm-hmm. hit you in some way, and that's why we go to the movies and we watch TV shows. Well, I I hope it's mm-hmm. we want to be entertained, but we want to be. If we can be moved to mm-hmm. that, that's to me that's art yeah. in some way. Like you know, I agree. I, but I, I love Totoro. But my other favorite is Howl's Moving Castle. Mm-hmm. I really like. No, I've not seen Howl's. I need that to one's watch. Fucking yeah. good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not an anime person at all. I've sat through a couple for his benefit, but <laughs> no, Howl's Moving Castle is very good. And then yes. um, the Cat Returns. That was uh, that's not a Miyazaki, but uh, it's a Ghibli film. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it was cute. And, and I don't like Kiki. That one's Miyazaki. Yeah. yeah. No. I love I'm Kiki. Kiki person, person, so cute. The Cat Returns was good. I haven't seen Kiki. Well, usually the, the Miyazaki or slash studio chibi films are... Is so Ghibli. 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 The Ghibli films are actually... Like, everyone goes, even if you don't like anime, those are really good. Yeah, yes. And, like, Spirited Away was mm-hmm. good. So and I, I hated Spirited Away. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm the only person I know though that hated that movie. Everyone's just like, "Oh my god!" There are some things that bother. Well, Mm -hmm. in general, that's a common theme with those movies. They, Mm -hmm. but okay. So, like, I'm a fan of Godzilla. I that's how I understand anything about Japanese culture, which is probably not great. But (laughs) there's some interesting things in there that you learn about them Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how they're very they're very prideful, very very noble. And how they approach multiple things, also very perverted. Um, <laughs> so weird sex jokes in a kids movie with a giant rubber monster. Um, <laughs> yeah, like and and so 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 sometimes I learn when you and this is not just Godzilla movies; these are all movies that are translated over. If they realize that this might come off better as a comedy, and it's not a comedy over there, they'll write the lines anyway as a comedy. Mm-hmm. So, for example, there was a line in Godzilla 2000 where they just literally lifted dialogue from Patton with George C. Scott, where it's like it's like shooting crap through a goose, and that's how they described a missile hitting Godzilla. That is not <laughs> what they were talking about. They were talking about like a, an underwater earthquake that could trap Godzilla, and you're like, what the fuck? How did you get there to there? But they did it because it sounded funny, and that was their job. Is they were hired to translate it and make it funny. To audiences because mm. people watch Godzilla to laugh at Godzilla. You some mm. t- some cases like Mystery Science Theater, yeah. and so and but the same thing goes for even not like, very serious like Dragon Ball Z. I remember they talked about how some of the Dragon Ball Zs like they it's either very perverted so they have to tone it down or it's just they the scene to them made no sense and so they just made it something else mm-hmm. and then they have to correct it later down the line because <laughs> they fucked up or something. It, it's huh. it's interesting and yeah. I, but so like. So the, the 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 Ghibli films. Am I saying that right now? Yeah, Ghibli mm-hmm. Studio Ghibli. Yeah, yeah. I I've heard not. Everyone says check those out though, and mm-hmm. then I've only like Spirit Away. Like, but all of the ones I have seen, like even Princess Mononoke, I feel like there's stuff missing, and I know that's mm-hmm. a cultural thing. Like, you don't need that stuff to for us to enjoy and that's where mm. I get my brain just kind of disconnects there. I was like no no I, I kind of need that please come back with that like <laughs> like they don't like in Spirit Away they don't go into like where the like the parents don't remember anything and then she starts mm-hmm. to not remember and, and like the first time I saw it it wasn't clear about like how she sold her name off or something like that mm-hmm. I, yeah what? it's been a long time since I've seen it but, it's been a long time since I've seen it too <laughs> yeah but, and I hated it so I'm just like I'm not yeah, I've yeah, seen I'm, it like very like tuned out on yeah, that yeah I'm just no, like no nope, this is awful I've seen it recently I'm just I just don't remember. Well, there's like, the big evil witch. That's the other thing. I mean, it, she looks Yubaba. creepy. Yubaba, Yubaba looks yes. fucking creepy. The big witch lady with mm-hmm. the yes. big head. It's not even like a normal head. That's creepy. <laughs> and she has it's like a crazy creepy. long nose yeah. and she like mm-hmm. sprouts wings and flies and stuff. Yes. Mm-hmm. Terrifying. Mm-hmm. Uh, you yeah, know, a lot of kids are scared of the pig head just like mm-hmm. that. Horrified a lot of people. See, that's one of the reasons I hate you because I was watching it with my ex-husband and my niece. And she was like maybe seven at the time. And I'm just like, this is fucking horrifying. She should not be watching this. And her yeah. dad is sitting there. It's like, oh no, it's <laughs> fine. And she's like curled up against me, like half, like hiding her face. I'm like, yeah, we need to turn this off. But her dad insisted we watch the whole thing. So we watched the whole thing. I'm like, this is terrible. Well, this was scary. Have some good nightmares. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't like show spirited away to kids. Mm-hmm. No. So there's some Miyazaki movies that are very much for kids. Like mm-hmm. Kiki's delivery service, totally for children. Adorable. Mm-hmm. What about my neighbor, Totoro? my neighbor, Definitely. Totoro for adults and children for mm-hmm. the whole family. And everyone will love it. Adorable. <laughs> mm-hmm. Spirited away is a very layered movie, but there is also like an undertone about like child prostitution mm-hmm. and yes. stuff. Well, in yeah. There. Cause 
that's the thing. Like it's that, is, that one is name. not. It's not. A, for it's not a kid's name. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, why yeah, I was yeah. thinking that. And then that's the whole thing is that she has to remember her name to get out or something like that because the more she's there, she forgets her name right or something. Um. Well, then she f- helps the um, river spirit like remember his name. That's what it was, mm-hmm. and that's yeah. how like he's able to get free. It was right. very. It's and, very weird. Maybe. Yeah, and it's based after I think so. This is how I know this. The Godzilla films are breaking up as Showa series because it's the Emperor, the Showa Emperor. Mm-hmm. And then there's the – I'm not going to say this right. I know I'm not going to pronounce it right, so forgive me. The uh, Heisel series or Heisel series is because the Emperor of that time, that was his name. Mm-hmm. And so – but the Showas in particular believed in uh, – so the uh, – you might know this better than me because you were there, maybe not. Mm. The – the weird architecture, it looks like a weird, like, pie symbol off the ground. Those are p- doors oh, or yeah. portals to okay, yeah. the afterlife or other whatever. The Tori? Sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, to- that were in front of shrines yeah, and stuff like that are red and then have that. Those are called Tori. Yeah, the Tori. Oh, right. mm-hmm. So those... I saw them, but I didn't know what they were called. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> supposedly, like, though, that, and that apparently is heavily tied into... Shintoism, I think? Mm-hmm. Shintoism, yeah. yes. Precisely. And into Spirited Away. Like, that's a, like, mm-hmm. a huge part of... Of that, mm-hmm. and I was just like, "Yeah, I kind of <laughs> see it now that you say that." But like, it's very layered and it was very mm-hmm. complex, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I need something else to help me mm-hmm. with that. Um, well, Shintoism like reveres nature, and mm-hmm. like they do believe in like nature spirits mm-hmm. to a degree, mm-hmm. and reincarnation like yeah. as well. I believe. Yeah, they believe there's a soul in everything. So yeah. you know, a piece of rock on the road, everything there is some sort of soul inside of that, and they worship that. And it's going to a sh- um, Shinto shrine is apparently one of the most serene and just like peaceful, amazing things you should ever oh, you experience. Told me about this I would like yeah. to. Since I, yeah. I watched a documentary where they talked about that, and I would love to. Oh, I'm jealous. Like I mm-hmm. went to the orange one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Karen. Sorry. I think it was Shinto. I don't know. There, everybody was walking around in their yukata. Mm-hmm. which is like the summer version of a kimono and it's like a pilgrimage thing and you walk up this hill and there was a giant Miyazaki store there. That's mostly <laughs> what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that was great. That and was I'm, what it was leading to. I get it, I get it. And I'm walking up this hill and I'm like super jealous of these yukata that they're wearing. So I walk into oh. this, I don't know, just stupid tourist shop and I buy what's basically a Japanese bathrobe and I put it on over what I'm wearing and then these ladies stopped a selfie with me because they're like, look at this crazy tourist who thinks she's wearing a yukata, but really she's just running around our temple, like, wearing a bathroom. Aww, <laughs> and, like, culture. You, have to take your sh- you have to take your shoes off. Like, mm-hmm. even if you just yes, go to take, yes. like, stay in your hotel or whatever, like, mm-hmm. you take your shoes off. But, I don't know, I went down wow. in this dark mm-hmm. thing, and then you emerged, and there was this, like, glowing stone... And I don't know. I went into a bunch of like castle and temple and mm, buildings. Awesome. And now, now were you without stuff. socks or shoes and socks on the? Because um, I have a weird thing where I don't like taking my shoes or socks off mm. and touching like just mm. what, unless so, it's carpet. I or, have been wearing socks. You mm. don't have to take. Oh, your socks okay. Off. Well, then I feel a little bit better. But now I get weird <laughs> yeah. that my socks might be getting wet from. Dentists. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> slippers are very common in Japan. Like in oh. schools, right? Everyone has their own set of just school slippers. Like, so That's they will have, you know, they'll take up. your shoes off, put them away, and then <laughs> yeah. take on your school slippers and put those That's on. That's fucked up as in, I want that. Yeah. yeah. I want that at work, uh-huh. honestly. Yeah, because they did do that in a Godzilla movie where they did the slipper thing, but I thought that was just for adults, because I was like, adults can do that. You're mm-hmm. an adult. If you want cake at, for dinner, you have cake for dinner. No mm-hmm. one stops you <laughs> until you get full and wished, why did I eat the cake? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll never do that again. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's insane. Okay. <laughs> Once again. Sorry. <laughs> there was a Miyazaki store. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, well, that's how I know about Tories. Mm-hmm. Godzilla. Yeah. Like, it's like, wait, no, no, okay. But yeah. All right. So Pokemon, everybody. Yeah. Pokemon. Well, I mean, I have something I'd like to bring up and just, yeah, you know, course, we were talking course, about things that we liked and didn't, but you know, yeah. I had a lot of issues with, with characterization in this movie yeah, and that's, that's what just... really, really kind of destroyed me. Yeah. That. so yeah, like that's a big thing in any movie. Like if you can't, have the characterization be consistent like Mm -hmm. the only one who had any whatever was pikachu exactly and that's fine (laughs) but then you realize it didn't matter because Mm -hmm. it's really like half of his dad's memory Mm -hmm. that doesn't so it ends up being for not like because it should be more like i get it's pikachu's story but it's also tim's story Mm -hmm. and it should be all on tim and tim doesn't really tim grows as in i now don't hate my dad Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah 
that's it. Good for you. I would still be weird. Like, was I really talking to my dad or was some weird semblance of my dad? Mm -hmm. Who was really, was it really more Pikachu? Mm -hmm. Like that would create a whole thing. And and I, and it's fine that he stays. Cause I was like, Mm -hmm. I want to know my dad better. I want to know, was it just you or was it the Mm -hmm. big, I want to know. And he, and then he was like, Oh son, great. And they can do the big hug. And Mm -hmm. it was none of that. It was just like, can I stay, Dad? I'm gonna throw this expensive ticket out in the trash. <laughs> I'm like, I thought about the too. I'm just like, that costs money. Money, like <laughs> that's the second ticket he threw away too. Oh, what? Because the first the... one was sending the card. Right? Oh. He never used that because I was coming him, so he never ended up using that. Oh. So they never used that ticket either. Well, unless it's the same ticket. Well, but th- uh, to wait to a ticket though. Oh, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, you're right. Sorry. So I was like, man, he's just he's just throwing these away left so, and right. So that was a good scene where I was just like, oh man, that's really sad. Like, yeah, it starts good, off though. good characterization mm-hmm. of, and they don't beat you over the head with it. It's just a nice card mm-hmm. and a ticket. So he did care. He yeah. wanted to send his son to visit him, mm-hmm. and he never sent it. Mm-hmm. So that also tells you a lot about Harry. Yeah, interesting. And then they do really nothing with it. That's yeah. just really. Like, mm. I, yeah, I, I, like even the bad guy, like I it said, like his characterization was, I, that's cool. It's Bill Knight. It would also be nice that he's not the bad guy. <laughs> and then he ended up being the bad guy because his actual, even his one, he's like, he was sick. I was like, oh, he now wants to heal himself with the power of the Pokemon. <laughs> and then, and then, and then they start going like, no, he's actually very beneficial. His son is an asshole. <laughs> like. Like, was I understanding correctly that his son was pretty much duct taped and held prisoner in the closet like the whole time, and it was like a ditto, like in the last half, in, in the last half when he was still an asshole in the like during the commercial shooting, yes. he was him being an asshole still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if you notice, the ditto and, can't couldn't talk. Right, and so right. when when I think when Pikachu no Pikachu shows up late because he's still doing the Pokemon theme song. That's yeah. that's why I remember. <laughs> when Tim gets there. And he looks up because he thinks the son's the bad guy. Mm-hmm. He sees the son and it ends up – that's the ditto because he just sits there and just smiles at him. He doesn't mm-hmm. talk because that guy is a very talky guy. Mm-hmm. Right. And in retrospect, you're just thinking, oh, it's the climax. He's being evil. And then you realize, oh, no, it's a ditto. He can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> and if he did, he'd probably just say ditto, ditto. Yeah. <laughs> or, isn't that what ditto say? They just say ditto? They ditto. Can, mm-hmm. Ditto. Something like that. Yeah. So it, actually that would ditto. be fucking creepy. And they don't, they don't really do that if like – if like he turns into that big Hulk game, was it the the champs? M- M- Machamp. Machamp. The, Machamp. And he's just going, ditto, ditto, and just oh. like beating the shit out of him. He did do something though, didn't he go like he, ditto? Like didn't he say it like really deep or something? I don't remember. But see, I feel like that's it's kinda like yeah. I feel like that is like that's creepy in a like the typical way. Yeah. It's almost like in Pixar's up when they do the dogs like Al- Alpha talks like this. <laughs> I will eat you because I am told to Oh damn it, it's to mess up again. And it's like and then mm-hmm. you turn it on normal and he sounds evil like mm-hmm. what you expect him. It's that playing with it I think mm-hmm. would be way creepier. Yeah. Because if you see that big thing and he's going ditto 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 and he's like, Why is cute things coming <laughs> and you're going to murder me? Yeah. You know? It's not like a clown, like an it where it's just like, you know, oh, clowns are fucking creepy and weird and I don't mm-hmm. like them. I don't they screw Clowns are terrible. They t- scare the shit out of me. They're so scary. <laughs> Mr. Mime though was really good. See what I did there? Brought it back. Yeah. Uh, no, I yeah, but so Ditto I think is the one not and mm-hmm. I, again that so again that's another a good example of clever filmmaking. Mm-hmm. You're just like, cool. He's doing the typical I got you now, like look and turns, and you're like, shit's gonna go down. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Also, they stole the plot a little bit now that I think of this from Batman. With, Cause remember the Joker's going out there doing money trust or whatever, <laughs> giving money out, and he, he's getting everyone there so they can gas him and kill him. With uh, yeah, gas. right. And it's the, I just now think I was like, oh Jesus. <laughs> but you know what? No cool Prince song. <laughs> what up, Pokemon? <laughs> Actually, that would been cool if they got that <laughs> put it in there. You know, Ryan Reynolds is like. Guys, I think we could really do a great job on this. <laughs> if we could, I will pay for it. Can we put Prince's trust in here? <laughs> I think it will hit a demographic that no one expects will hit. <laughs> like, like the three people who remember that part of the movie. Uh, let me put a smile on that face. Uh, yeah. No, so, yeah. And, but again, that ending, the, the, the buildup of them fighting with each other was really cool, too. And I've also, why didn't he try to rip the thing off his head to begin that with? That was my first I'm just like, this seems like a very flawed plan. Like, this is how you get into Mewtwo's body is through this thing on your head. I'm like, someone walks by and just bumps you or something. That thing slightly comes, like, off center. Right. You're done. Yeah, like... like 
Oh, oh what, by the way, also creepy was the ditto falling. And I was, because my first thought was, that thing's going to turn into something that can fly mm-hmm. and come back. And then I was like, no, it didn't appear to. And then it did. And so I was like, damn, this is getting exciting. <laughs> and then, yeah, it was just so many great little moments in that mm-hmm. movie that really I wanted to love even mm-hmm. more. And yeah. Matt lost his shit when, like, Tim was hanging from the ledge and, like, the cue bone tapping his fingers <laughs> one at a time. Sam was laughing okay. so hard. So, so, so again, to me, I feel like that would have been more emotionally invested. Like, we know about the cue bone. Mm-hmm. But, like, I feel it would have been cool if, like, somehow the ditto knew about that, too. And so it was, like, extra malicious about it. <laughs> because then it's just like, you know, I'm a random Pokemon I turn into. And it happens to be a cue bone, which we as the audience know is from early in the movie. And he's scared to shit out of Because <laughs> they're, they're mean little buggers. Um, and then he's just <laughs> trying to knock his... Doing the whole, I think... Looney Tunes thing where it's yeah. like knocking one finger down. Yeah. This little piggy went to the market. <laughs> this yeah. little oh we're all out of roast beef. And, <laughs> and then Eddie Valiant falls. Uh yeah. Such a man. Also, oh weird so Pokemon two thousand, I remember I took my little cousins to see it and the movie died right at the moment they showed the the bigger one, the one that looks like a weird spoon with wings. The bird they, they were all three birds, right? Lugia? Lugia, it's like is a white colored one. white colored one that's water type. You yeah, know? it was in like yeah. a island kind of thing, yeah. and it had. Okay, they yeah. were in the middle of the, the middle of the water. The theater went down, so you, it, it, you saw the shadow of it come up, and right as it hit, like God rays hit it, so you still can see what it looked like, even though it's in the poster. And then the theater just died. <laughs> and so, but he had all three of the birds, uh, Bill Dye, in like a weird gold like thing behind him. I was like, cool, <laughs> like. So cool, like, and I was like, because that's all I remember from that movie: yeah. the electric one, and then the shadow of, of the Lugia. Mm-hmm. Um, which that's can we say that's just a weird, horrible name for? Yeah, Japanese, that's so bad. Not in Japanese, I'm sure, but like for us in the states and even Europe, it's probably like Lugia. Yeah. Right. yeah. Final thoughts on Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I, I mean, I feel like we've covered the gamut on this. You know, I, I've actually gotten more excited about the movie talking about it with you all. <laughs> like, I know. So, I'm like, so that's the weird yeah. thing, right? Like, it, it's one of those things, like, the more, yeah, you talk about it. it, it like, so I, I, so I put it up there with, like, this is, it, it actually, it's way better than this movie, but, like, Poke, Spider-Man 3, like, <laughs> they showed just, I remember they released the scene, like, as a trailer of, like, Sam and Harry fight, or Sam and Harry, sorry. <laughs> talking to you Peter and Harry fighting over the mm-hmm. wedding ring and you're like this is a great scene <laughs> and then you put it with the rest of the movie and like if you watch scenes of it you're just like well that's good that's good mm-hmm. on the whole it just doesn't hold up as well but yeah so like I, I, do, I would probably watch it again if it was on TV mm-hmm. but I will make a point to watch it again when it comes out but like I get it like how it's just fan service and not yeah. like a great movie, but I guess when I'm like a big fan of something, <laughs> I want fan service. Like when we did the Death Note podcast, yeah, I was not pissed. Get fan service, you did not get. Fan I service. did not Sorry get fan that. service, but like it was interesting. Actually, it came up with a great thing. Karen coined it. Hate fuck watching. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing: uh, I hate fuck watch shit too. We yeah. all do. And like I do that with Ninja Turtles sometimes, uh, I you know, but I get you can't it. not watch it because you love it because it's about that. But then it's like just such a bastardization of it, and you're like, God fucking damn it, I hate mm-hmm. this. Yeah, but I get it. Like Death Note does not have nearly as big of a fan base as Pokemon, so yeah. they had to like make it just a movie movie. Mm-hmm. Whereas Pokemon has generations of a fan base, so they could get away with it, just putting a lot of awesome looking Pokemon. Mm-hmm. In a movie and having Ryan Reynolds and Pikachu wearing a hat and like <laughs> make a lot of money, you know. <laughs> Eerily accurate on that last part. <laughs> like, who wants to go up against Endgame in the th- was it the third week now? Who wants to go up against that? And it's like Pokemon will. <laughs> and, uh, they came close. They didn't win, but they came very close mm-hmm. of, of usurping for the number one spot at the box office. When we're recording this, by the way. Things could completely... I don't think they're going to. But things could completely... Because I think more movies are opening up this weekend than last week. Last week, I think it was just long... I'm sorry. It was Long Shot and Pokemon Detective Pikachu. And mm-hmm. that was it. By the way, we're not scheduled to talk about this anytime soon. Long Shot is amazing. I want to throw it out there. If you haven't seen it yet, please see it. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't think it's going to... 
I think it's going to do good business because it's a family movie and mm-hmm. it'll be mm-hmm. very different. And honestly, and that's okay. I actually, I think that's good. It, it's the breath of fresh air and, and even for me, a very superhero heavy summer. Um, mm-hmm. But it, I, I wanted it to be more than what it was. And that's where I get sad. You know, like I wanted mm-hmm. it to be like, so like Roger Rabbit, like you're thinking that's going to be pure fan service for just, cartoons mm-hmm. and it's like no it's really fucking good yeah like i like it's literally chinatown but with cartoon <laughs> characters and if you've never seen chinatown it's literally the same mm-hmm. plot <laughs> actually rango to me is a remake of chinatown but so is roger rabbit but yeah. instead of water it's the subway system and the freeways and you're just like whoa insane and also there's incest and creepy shit like that you're just like jesus christ this is a weird ass movie um <laughs> and it's really good um, John Houston and Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway. But it, yeah, I want it to be like that where like it transcends like I want it to be a really good movie because that's the other thing too. Video game movies are not good. That's mm-hmm. usually and yeah. that's sad. I will say this is the best video game movie I've seen in my opinion. Like it as Mario Brothers holds a place in my heart as a <laughs> good shitty movie, but it has nothing to the do with... The super old one, like late 80s, yeah, early 90s. With, with, yeah, with Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo, Mario, yeah. Mario, Mario, and Mar- Luigi Mario. <laughs> and just like, that's not how that works. <laughs> um, sure. And also, like, the I Goombas look like, look like dinosaurs because they're all dinosaurs, mm-hmm. and apparently we're dinosaurs, too. <laughs> what the fuck? I have fuck? some vague memories of that movie, because oh. I think I saw that in theaters, too. Here's the thing. If you watch it now, like, it's still not a good movie, but you're just like, this is not as bad as you remember, because this is very, really not Mario Brothers. <laughs> like, it's just two guys with those names <laughs> and things like that that show up from the Mario games, but mm-hmm. it really, and King Koopa. And yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> and even then, you're just like... Bowser. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. So, so that's the weird thing. King Koopa, and then they call him because he was called that in the games, but he was also Bowser. It was mm-hmm. Bowser and King Koopa, but they were the same. Mm-hmm. But then he had the kids like Iggy and yeah. and yeah, Lenny, Koopa kids. the Koopa kids, mm-hmm. like all yeah. eight of them. There's two of them in there, and they have two of the names, and you're just like, cool. Where are the other ones? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like his nephews or something. It's insane. Um, so. Yeah, this was a very yeah. I think we've said everything we need to say. Anyone else want to say anything else? I was I... looking up a kind of relevant like okay. Simpsons meme that oh, sort of this... summarizes like the movie, you know, uh, just like Pikachu in a hat. So, f- for the reference, by the way, it's a Simpsons meme, and it's originally for the thing that Hearn Smithers like the Barbie the Barbie parody thing, Malibu Stacy. Mm-hmm. But they've taken all the Malibu Stacy stuff and replaced it with Pikachu and Pokemon <laughs> Go. And Lisa's like, wait, don't be fooled. He's just a regular Pikachu with a stupid cheap hat. He's the still <laughs> same low stupid Pokemon he was before. And then Smithers is like, but he has a new hat. <laughs> and all the kids, I want it. I want it. <laughs> that is very That's accurate. But can, you send that, the movie. can you send that to me? Yeah. Uh, I'll actually see if I can include that in the show notes. You should also note her you know, phone case. Oh yes. Re- re- references what we've been talking about this entire time. <laughs> actually. Right. Uh, it has a uh, studio Ghibli. Uh, yes. That is Totoro. Totoro. It is Pikachu dressed up as Totoro and Totoro dressed up like Pikachu. Pikachu and that is the door. What's the little that's black thing there? Oh, that's from that's Totoro. A soot sprite from Totoro and from spirited away. And I think there's a few in house moving mm-hmm. castle. I think too. So. they kind of make cameos. There's soot mm-hmm. sprites. <sighs> <laughs> no, but see, I need to, I do need to go back and give them their shot. Cause <laughs> I used to hate SpongeBob SquarePants. Now I watch them. I'm like, this is actually mildly inner, <laughs> and I'm, I get weird about shit. So um, I'm always happy to be very wrong. Is what I'm trying to <laughs> yeah. Say. Um, all right. Well, guys, thank you so much. Uh, before thank we leave, you. do you have anything you would like to plug again? Uh, Guardians is this weekend. That was so. We have but one day is, to watch it yeah. to, mm-hmm. to get get tickets yeah. and go. It is tomorrow. Mm-hmm. At, unless you're a time traveler, then this yeah. is in the past. <laughs> uh, uh, tomorrow at Mad Lab. For more information, go to madlab.net. It starts at 2 p.m. starts at 2, yes. I just kind of show up and be told what to do. That became New York even for a second. <laughs> uh, but I play Rocket. Gamora is here. And then we also have our, our, uh, our Star-Lord. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yay. Are you going to come see the show? See Guardians? Yeah. Is it, the stage reading? Is it Saturday? Yes. I work. Boo. <laughs> well, if you're not like Karen or, or working, then come see the show yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 get, I, get, I get, gotta make that green. I understand. It is I important. Know. 
Um, if it wasn't like if it was like Saturday night or if it was like a late night, I could do that. But. Oh, a Saturday night, perfect! Is my next show. I'm going to be in the Apocalypse Night of Roulette, also at Mad Lab Theater. And uh, oh. it's, what nights? It's Saturday. It's Saturday, tomorrow, and mm-hmm. then uh, tomorrow, and then the following Thursday and the following Sunday. No, Saturday. 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 Following Saturday, Saturday yeah. not Sunday. Because that's Mad Lab Christmas. I am in yeah. the Cyberspace yeah. Night of Roulette this Friday, the seventeenth, oh, and then so today. Saturday, the twenty fifth at eight p.m. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, uh, that's awesome. I uh, yeah. Uh, what was the website, or do you have a website for it, or anything like that? For MadLab.net. MadLab. Mad Lab. Sorry, my is it net? Just... Yeah. <laughs> it's just the other yeah. Night of <laughs> Roulette. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you've already been plugging your life. I kind of have been when I can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, I'm sorry. Could you direct it in Apocalypse? I, I mm. directed Borgs. Borgs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, really, John Grote, who you, we talked mm-hmm. about earlier, and uh, uh, Helen Case Borg. Mm-hmm. Really great. Um, mm-hmm. Here's the thing. You guys are all great. Um, it, but I, being I directed them, they're, they're a little bit higher up in my oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, Aren't you technically directing us, too, in Guardians? Yes, <laughs> yes, I am, and so you are now equally as higher, if not more so. There we go. Um, you're higher when I need. Sorry, John. Sorry, John. Sorry, Alan. How convenient. <laughs> Tell me more. All right, so guys, thank you so much for mm-hmm. doing this. This was a lot of fun, and uh, gotta catch them all. <laughs> <laughs> gotta catch them all, Pokemon. <laughs> Jeez! You're a creep! Go away! We're having a good time until you start up, cheapers! Go have some coffee with cream or something! Because I'll tell you something! This is a happy place!